So the first things first is to track the footage. Now I'm not looking for pixel accuracy, but um, we're not looking for pixel accuracy, but we are looking for some a somewhat stable, non-floating track. So grab a tracker out, uh, grab a new adding track. Uh, in the options, press the R for rotate. And in the settings, we want to press the adjust luminance, max iterations to 400, and the resolution to 0 0.005 and the max error to 0.4. Okay, so um, let's go to a non-motion blur frame and pick our tracking point. For this one, I'm going to pick, what should I pick? I'll pick these two chairs here that's sticking out since we have a lot of lights and data to track okay and press space and F to maximize your screen and let's click the tracking button all right so it's kind of freaking out already so let's just go one frame at a time adjust your tracking box and we're gonna go to we're only gonna go to frame 41 so that looks pretty cool Cool. And let's track back. Ah, oh, freaked out a bit. Let's go back here. We can even center it to make sure it's a bit more accurate. Now, since it goes off frame, we're going to press Control and flick it to a different point. Let's go here since it's. Uh, a lot more close in depth and that continues tracking let's change it again to this chair this uh, chair point will also be our tracking oh, freaked out a bit there we go and let's bring that over here okay so we have one tracking point. We are now want to do the second one. So let's go to this second chair. Uh, the options um, should all, um, still be in the uh, settings. So let's. Uh, just click the T and the S and let's place that to the second chair whoops let's not do that okay and let's click back goes off screen so let's press control and put it to a different tracking point And let's enlarge this. And let's keep on going. Uh, kind of veers off a bit, so we're going to quickly adjust that. Okay, so click the R for that one too. And now we are going to go to export and go to match move. And click the match move. Now um, you'll see a green line here, just press Control E since it gets really annoying very quickly.